Christianity in Africa has really come of age. There was a time when it was a missionary Christianity, when we had missionaries come from different parts of the world, of the world to as it were sow the seed. But well, now the seed is grown, it's germinated, and it's bearing fruits. And the fruits we see are in the form of young Africans taking up the responsibility for the faith, for the growth of the church in Africa. I find the province very young and uh, having people who are capable, their potentials need to be uh, realized, uh, but then uh, needing a lot of help again at the same time. Uh, and because, you know, uh, if these men are not going to get uh, good formation, then they cannot be good formators in the end. So formation is very important and I think this is where we need correct and in a proper formation. We are much involved in education apostolate or ed education activities in Eastern Africa. We believe that if we really educate our people properly in Eastern Africa, giving them skills they need, at least to face the challenges they meet in, daily, in their daily lives, this will be a great tool if you really want to develop the people, empower them, and uh, liberate them from shackles of poverty and the disease and so forth. Stem, twa, kuku, twa, kuku, stem, 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 twa, kuku, twa, kuku. I believe our greatest blessing is the blessing of vocations. We have the men. We're blessed with the men we need to carry out the mission of the Society of Jesus in Eastern Africa. But that too is also the challenge because it means that we need to generate the resources. We need to find the means of giving these Jesuits in formation, good quality formation to meet the needs of the mission. We have quite a number of vocations around, but the question is, where do I go? But when people have to see, what are you doing? What are you made of? And so by seeing what we are made of and seeing what we are doing, many people have been responding and uh, actually just creating that desire in them to, to join the Jesuits. When I was working, I was very much looking for money, and uh, which was not, uh, at the end I came to realize that, yeah, you can have as much, but then uh, we, wealth is not going to take you anywhere. So better I get, I get to uh, so, uh, save souls and uh, help people, work with people, and uh, in that we full, uh, commit myself fully uh, to what I've uh, been called to. I became a Jesuit because I saw what Jesuits do. Because I saw people doing things for which they were not expecting any material rewards. And they did it with such enthusiasm. Being Jesuit is like you are man in a mission, always. Uh, in, in the sense that you are always working towards uh, helping people. It's really deserving to uh, commit myself to these people who are suffering in Christ and to suffer with them. And that has been my uh, main uh, call uh, and seeing that I've been called to help them in this way. There is no place I have been in the region, in the province, where there's not been a need expressed for Jesuits to come and work. But I have more needs or requests from bishops than 
we could possibly respond to, you know, given the kind of uh, resources we have. People believe in us. They feel we can help transform the church. Not just because we are Jesuits of Eastern Africa province, but because we are Jesuits of the Society of Jesus. It's the experiences, the wisdom, it's the resources that we've developed over the centuries that is actually trying, we're bringing to bear in Eastern Africa. And people recognize that, you know, that as Jesuits, we have a tradition of excellence, of commitment. We have a tradition of availability, you know, reaching out to where the needs are greatest. And there are some great needs in Eastern Africa. I would like for us to continue to receive young, capable, enthusiastic, energetic men into the society. And for us to do that, we need the resources. We need to have the means to continue to train them. It takes not just a long time, it takes a lot of money to form and train a competent Jesuit. The potential is great and the potential is exciting. Will there be challenges? I would expect there will be challenges, but I wouldn't think it would be out of place now because that's the society of Jesus we're trying to build, a universal society, not just in words, but in reality, of men working together from different backgrounds in terms of nationalities, expertise, um, generations, you name it. Doing business with Eastern Africa is good business.